everybody welcome to another vlog this week's vlog is going to be a very exciting one because me darren rousey and striker are off to do a big road trip around england and wales we are hiring a rock and vans van we did the same thing last year in september we hired um, a rock and vans camper van and went around the highlands in scotland it was epic so we're doing the same thing this time except we're doing england and wales and i'm so excited um we've also got a different van this time so this van's more like a motorhome it's got like a little bathroom and a ready-made bed so i can't wait to see it. i'm so excited we are almost in dublin now we're going to get the ferry over because we've got the dogs so we can't fly we had to leave the two collies in the kennels because two big energetic collies in a camper van is not really like suitable but the two small ones can come with us because they sleep all day anyway plus striker gets really bad separation anxiety so we had to bring him but yeah how excited are you very excited there's still so much snow on the ground in Dublin. Actually, here's not too bad. So we made it to the docks and we're all like lined up, lined up, lined up in these lanes. Eee, we're starting to move. Oh my God, this is so exciting. We're gonna drive onto that ferry over there somewhere. Woohoo. I've just driven onto the ferry. I feel so claustrophobic. Like I don't wanna leave the dogs on here. It freaks me out. I feel like we're on a small version of the Titanic. Like, it's like a weird underground car park. I don't like this. Darren was like so excited to come on the ferry and he's seasick, he's so ill. <laughs> We made it off the ferry and we, well we landed in, landed, we pulled up to the shore in Wales. Oh my god, Wales is so beautiful! So anyway, we're in Birmingham now. We're staying the night in the Novotel because apparently it's pet friendly to kind of like break up the trip a little bit because we've got to go pick up the van from London tomorrow. I'm driving from Wales to London after driving from Galway to Dublin this morning and getting a ferry would just be too much. So yeah, we're staying the night in Birmingham tonight and then heading to London tomorrow morning to go um, get the van. Yay, I'm so excited. I really need to pee. I need to pee so badly. Hey guys, so we got to our hotel. It's actually so nice. We're staying in the Novotel in Birmingham city center. It's pet friendly, which is a huge, like I'm so appreciative, appreciative for that. Like it's very difficult to find pet friendly hotels so i'm so thankful that the novotel is and the room is so nice it's so lovely and spacious look dogs are just having their dinner and we're about to take them out for a quick pee and then we're all gonna head to bed and try and get a relatively early night hey girl did you eat your dinner is it yummy are you looking for more you ate all yours you've already eaten your dinner Rousey. that was yummy <laughs> Good morning, wee girl. <laughs> you are so pretty today. You are so beautiful. Good morning. Are you ready for your adventure? Hi, Strike. Hello. Hello. Are you ready for your road trip? You want to go on a road trip? <laughs> you are so handsome. Good morning. Oh, he's so excited. Bless him. You going for a walk? Morning pee and poop and I have also had a morning pee and poop and washed my hair and straightened it <laughs> Come on little girl. You ready? So this is her last night in the full-on room for a little while we have to check out in six minutes dogs are already in the car So we've just got to shut our suitcases and run them down So we made it to our van. I'm so excited. It is so fancy. It's so cool. Here it's got like a little control center. Here's where we drive. These seats swivel around, but I'll show you all that once we get set up. Right now we are just trying to unpack because um we don't want to bring our suitcases because our suitcases are too big. So we're currently unpacking everything. Then we're going to bring the dogs in and set sail. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's our first night in the van. We've pretty much unpacked everything. Um, we've just gone and had a bite to eat for dinner. We're staying in the car park of the place we ate dinner at. So we ate dinner at this place here. We are in, um, blah, 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 blah. where are we? Birminghamshire? No. Oh, Buckinghamshire. And the pub we ate dinner at, it was so lovely and the staff were so 
friendly and so nice and the food was absolutely delicious. So that's where we ate dinner, the Royal Oak Inn. Highly recommend it, it's such a gorgeous, cozy pub. At the moment, Darren's just trying to figure out how to work the heating because it is a little bit cold. Yeah, we can't figure out how to work it. <laughs> the dogs are happy out. We've just covered the seats with our own throws. Stryker's got a little bone that he's enjoying. Rousey's eating hers down there on the floor. We've already made our bed up as well. Success, guys! Darren got the heating working and it's so nice and toasty warm in here. Poodle's all ready for bed in his coat. Stryker, shake. Good boy. <laughs> you are so smart. We've got our wee blinds up here to block the sun out when it comes up in the morning. It's all nice and cozy in here now, so I'm gonna get in my jammies and get into bed. It's only like 11 o'clock, which is pretty, like, well, it's a very early night for us. So guys, this is our little built-in bathroom. It's got a little skylight vent there, um, a wee thing to hold the shower, and then a toilet as well. And this tap is actually the shower head as well. Like, this van is so spacious, and look at the cute fairy lights on the ground. <laughs> Okay, so Striker's decided he's sleeping there. So I guess we get the bed to ourselves tonight for once. Good morning, everybody. Excuse the, the, the this. We had a rough night last night. The dogs didn't sleep. They kept us awake all night. So we've come up with a solution. We've just um, driven to a pet shop and garden center and purchased a load of things. We bought a dog crate and we bought a dog bed, dog water bowl. Um, the pups are out here getting some fresh air and a bit of sunlight. We actually have really great weather today, look at that. What we've done, because there's this camper van, sleeps like, what, four people? There's a double bed down there, which is what we sleep on. And then you can make a double bed here too. So we've just pulled these seats out, covered it with the, our own rug. And we're gonna set the cage up that we've just bought. We're gonna set it up here and secure it with the seat belts so the dogs can sleep in here at night and also they can travel in here safely. And then this bed is gonna go inside the crate. We bought a collapsible, attachable water bowl and a little, a little toy. It fits perfectly, now we just have to secure it with the belts. <laughs> Girl, you got yourself all tangled. Little one. We also got these poo bags here. They are biodegradable, which is good, so they like disintegrate and uh, go back into the earth. And the cardboard they use is recycled cardboard too, which is really good. I love this kind of stuff. It's putting that little bit of extra thought into like products you buy and use and consume that makes a difference in the world. Look how cute this is looking. White paws and carry on pet rebellion. And it leads up to their little crate and it, we've secured it with the um, seat belt so it's nice and stuck. And they're in. They got loads of room actually. That looks so cozy. I wouldn't mind sleeping in there tonight. You're looking for bickies. <laughs> There's none there. You ate them all. Hey guys, I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup. I've got one set of lashes on. I just wanted to show you how cute Darren is. <laughs> Darren's just spent like 40 minutes cleaning the whole van, made us coffees, and now he's plonked himself there to eat his breakfast, bless him. I have a coffee and a perfect little makeup station. Here's the makeup that I took away with me. I'm gonna put my other set of lashes on. The lashes I took away with me are the One Two Cosmetics Bold Accent Lashes. The magnetic ones because you don't need any glue they're so easy to take off at night and you don't have any like glue residue or anything like that they're just so comfortable to wear but they look so pretty and um, i do have a discount code for them i think it's daphne 10 it gets you ten dollars off i'll double check that and i'll put it on the screen here for you and i have done a video on them i've done two videos on them so i'll put them in the description box down below and now both sets of my lashes are on yay look how awesome my little beauty like setup is there's a cupboard under here i've got my jewelry box which i'm gonna Put my jewelry on now, and then my bag just lives straight in that cupboard. Woohoo! Look how happy out the dogs are. They're so happy in there. <laughs> they must feel secure. So the plan now is I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I've got some muesli and I've got some oat milk, so I'm gonna eat quickly, even though it's lunchtime. And then we're gonna head to Dover. <music> Ba, ba, ba. 
not Birminghamshire, Buckinghamshire to Dover. We are pulling into a campsite for tonight so we can hook up the van to power because we've got loads of editing to do. We need the PowerPoints to work. Um, the dogs are happy out in their cage. And um, yeah, this area seems so pretty. We're almost, well, I think we're like 10 minutes away from our campsite now. But this area is so pretty. So we've pulled up in our campsite. For now, we've still got to go out and get dinner later, but we've got to get editing done because I've got to upload a video tonight. So this is our current setup. We've got some fairy lights down there. How pretty does it look? The dogs are asleep in their wee cage. Got Mr. Darren here editing the video because he edits my videos now. And then I'm going to do the thumbnail and um, some Instagram pictures. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day... Do you think we're on day three already of our trip? It is 11.30 a.m. I am just washing up the dishes from this morning in our wee sink and what we're going to do today or what the plan is is head to Dover we didn't quite make it there last night and then we are going to call in at Hover Castle I think it's called Hever Castle or something it was the childhood home of Anne Boleyn so that should be interesting they also have like you know castle grounds that, that we can walk the dogs on we couldn't we already checked if he can walk dogs there and he can so that's going to be fun Darren's going to take his drone out today and try and get some footage for this vlog to make it cool. Then we're going to see if we get time to make it to the actual cliffs of Dover and see them. And then I think we're going to try and wild camp tonight because we're in a like a caravanning camping thing right now, which is good because it meant that um, we could hook up our power and everything. But yeah, I think we'll try and wild camp tonight. It's just a bit more fun. And um, well... I think that's basically a whole plan. We also have to go grocery shopping, but aside from that, we've got a pretty chilled out day today. So yeah, just a bit of that and sightseeing. Okay, so we're almost ready to leave. The van is clean again. I did an excellent job washing up Darren's very impressed with me because usually it's him that does the cleaning. <clears throat> the dress I'm wearing is my favorite one from Shopo. It's quite old now because I've had this for about two, yeah, about two years now. If I can find a link to it, um, I'll link it down below. If not, then it's probably not in existence anymore. Hey guys, so we are almost at Heba Castle, the childhood home of Anne Boleyn. Um, this, the weather today is so beautiful, the sunlight is so nice. Anyway, we're, we're kind of a little bit lost. We've been trying to find this castle for a while now and our map has taken us the strangest way. And you know what? Does anybody actually live around this area? Because so many of the houses around here look so strange, like I've never seen houses like this like they're so different to the houses in Ireland and definitely different to the houses in Australia and I can't see one right now but they have these weird little like like what do we how would you even describe it like little balloon things on their roofs it's very odd what the heck is this <laughs> why have we got a red light down here Darren he's a pro on the manual manual pro Guys, we've made it to the castle. It's so nice. Very expensive entry. How much was it to get in? 34 pounds. 34 pounds for the both of us. Are you excited? Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Are you lying? No, I'm serious. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. So this is the castle. You're actually not allowed to film inside the castle, so I won't be able to take you inside. Sorry, guys. It looks like <laughs> It does look like Rousey's butt. That's the castle. Yeah. guys so I haven't even updated you all day if you can hear that beeping it's because our water is low we need to fill it up tonight so please try and ignore that we went to the house of Anne Boleyn to be honest it wasn't the best castle I've ever seen I mean it was cool but it was very expensive to get in and it wasn't that interesting compared to other castles I've seen um, but it was still good to see considering that's where she grew up and like if you're into history it's pretty cool then after that we went and well we tried to get lunch but by this time it was about four o'clock and we tried four different pubs nobody was serving food until six so then we just got on the highway we drove to Dover we just stopped at a like a designer clothing outlet in Ashford um because I'm stupid and I didn't pack enough clothes and I bought a bunch of clothes they're actually such nice clothes from All Saints and they were all about half price which I'm so excited about I got this jumper here it's like a 
midriff kind of jumper with like really long cuddly sleeves love it um i'll show you the other stuff i got tonight but we've just packed up to get back on the road and head to dover i think we're going to try and park by the seaside tonight the pups are all all belted up ready to go good morning guys it's very early just gonna make some coffee here's our little kettle You excited for some coffee? Yes. Coffee, 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 coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. coffee, 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 coffee. Draka, you want coffee? You want some coffee? You want coffee, man? Rousey is asleep over here. Oh wow. Hello. Good morning. Here's our little fridge. Just ready? This right here is the best milk for coffee. Oat milk. Not sponsored. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are on day four of our trip now. We're all up, ready, dressed. We are heading to the cliffs of Dover. It's meant to rain at 12. It is now like 9.30 a.m. So hopefully we miss the rain. We can see the cliffs. Then we're going to go to the castle, Dover Castle. Then I'm not sure what we're doing after that. But right now we're on the search for water because we need to fill up our water tank with water. And then we're going to head to the cliffs and I'll show you when we get there. Oh god guys I hate roads like this it's so thin and so windy and a huge drop down there <gasps> oh, we made it Darren's so clever look everyone the white cliffs of Dover it's so picturesque and pretty down here Darren's got his drone up yay Don't break it. <laughs> Don't touch the hiney. <laughs> it doesn't want you to catch it. <laughs> oh, oh my god, you've upset it, you've upset it. <laughs> so we got our Instagram pictures and some drone footage. Darren accidentally didn't record like half the drone footage, so. We are now at Dover Castle. It is the largest castle in England and it was originally built in the 11th century, so like the 10 hundreds. That is ridiculously old. Um, if we can film in there, I will film for you, but if not, I'll just have to show you the grounds, but we're about to find out, so let's go. Guys, look how cool this place is. So it turns out that this is like, how many, 84 acres, I think she said? This is a medieval tower house. Um, this is the oldest part. This is the part that would have been built like in the 11th century. So let me see if I can film inside for you. So this here is very cool. This is a Roman pharaoh? Far pharaoh? I'm not actually sure how you meant to pronounce it. This was built 43 AD. So that's like, what, 2000 years old? And it's still standing. That's crazy. Absolutely mad. Hey guys, we've just pulled up at a place called 
Hailing? Is it Hailing or Ailing? Hailing Island. Hailing Island. It's bloody beautiful. It's been raining all day except for now. And look at the look at the view. So nice. And look at our beautiful van. And my beautiful fiance. It's actually a bit of a mess. I'm gonna clean this. But we've just set this up. We're gonna grab some nice um like Instagram shots. And then we're gonna take these little puppers for a walk on the beach and we're gonna stay here tonight. There's so much um like space to park. So we're just gonna stay here tonight. Look how nice it is. And it's even a blue sky now too. You wanna go for a walk? Oh you don't! Okay, okay. 